Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On today's episode, let's look at easy and inexpensive gifts that you can get from Apple and the iTunes Store. So the main thing you might think of when purchasing an inexpensive gift from Apple is an iTunes gift card. The thing about iTunes gift cards is they work in any of the digital stores that Apple has. So, for instance, you can buy something in iTunes here like music, movies, or TV shows. You can also purchase iOS apps for the iPhone or iPad. You can do that here in iTunes on your Mac or you can do it on the device itself. You can also use money from a gift card to purchase something in iBooks and also in the Mac App Store. So all of these are basically tied together with one account tied to your Apple ID. So you get a card and say it's $25. You can use that $25 in any of these stores for any of these things or divide it up any way you want to do it. And it doesn't matter what the card says on the outside. If the card has some musical notes on it or a picture of a book or it says it's for uh, an app store, it doesn't matter. It all goes into the same account. So you get somebody a gift card and they can use it for any of these digital downloads in any of these portions of Apple's digital stores. So where do you get these gift cards? Well, of course, you can find them in most major stores. I mean, even supermarkets and convenience stores usually have some iTunes gift cards available. Now, keep in mind that there are two different types of gift cards. There's the Apple Store gift cards, which are for buying hardware and things in the Apple Store, physical objects, and iTunes gift cards, which are for buying digital things. So make sure you get the right one. Now, if you go to Apple Store online, store.apple.com, you go over to Accessories, and then you scroll through this list here. The last item is gift cards. And here you can get those Apple Store gift cards. You can also get iTunes gift cards. You scroll down this page here and you find out that you can get them two ways. Gift cards by mail and gifts sent by email. So if you want to get somebody something and you don't want to stuff it in an envelope and send it to them because they're far away, you can just basically buy it and have it sent to them by email. The value is the same. Uh, it's just a matter of the presentation. Now if you're wrapping a gift for somebody it might be nice to get a physical card for them. And you can see that if you go into this section here you can select from all sorts of different designs, compose a message, and then add multiple cards and everything. So there's a lot of different options. You don't have to leave the house to send a gift card to somebody. Now instead of getting a gift card that could be used for anything, you could also gift a very specific item. So for instance, you can choose a song or album or anything in the iTunes store and you can click next to the buy button and select gift this album here and then you can send it to an email address and you can include a message as well. You can even schedule it to be sent on a specific date. So uh, you can wait for the holidays or it's great for sending a birthday present as well. Now you can even do that uh, in other stores as well. So for instance you go to the iBook store and you can select a book here and you can select gift this book and do the same thing. And it works in iTunes here if you go in the store to the App Store. So uh, we'll go and we'll search for an app. And then you can select there, gift this app, and then you can send that app. Now unfortunately it doesn't work for the Mac App Store. It only works for iOS apps. Um, hopefully they'll add that soon in the Mac App Store. Now here's another option you may not know about. If you're in iTunes and you're in the iTunes Store there's a link here for Send iTunes Gifts from the main page. And this is another way that you can easily send by email a iTunes gift card. But there's also this link here to learn more about gifting. And you go in here and you can scroll down and you learn about what I just talked about sending apps and uh, other specific items. But you can also set up an allowance. So an allowance is a way to send somebody with an Apple ID an amount that they're going to get every month. And you can select anything from $10 to $50 here. So this could be kind of like a uh, iTunes of the Month Club kind of thing where instead of getting them uh, say a $100 gift card right then you can gift them $10 a month for the rest of the year. This also could be a good way for some parents to give part or all of an allowance as iTunes money. So uh, instead of uh, giving cash and then having to, uh, since kids don't have credit cards, go to the store, get an iTunes gift card, and then cash that in on iTunes, they can get a monthly digital 
allowance like this uh, which could help teach kids how to manage their digital purchases uh, over the course of time before they become adults and can buy their own. Now there actually is another digital service from Apple to consider and that's of course Beat Music. So if you go to beatsmusic.com you can look at the prices here and you can see a subscription now is $10 a month or $100 a year. This of course now is being slowly incorporated into Apple's digital services and it really makes up for uh, the lack of a subscription service for music that Apple didn't have before. So this is similar to uh, Spotify and other services like it where you pay a monthly fee or annual fee and you get to listen to all the music that you want that's available on the service. So this is another option now uh, that you can get to somebody as a gift. It doesn't look like there's a way for you to directly buy Beats Music as a gift on the site but if I, you look around you can find gift cards. It looks like there might be an exclusive deal here with Target right now. Um, they have 25 and at least uh, a $50 gift card there. Um, so that might be an option for getting somebody Beats Music for free for a year. Now what would be nice is if there was a wish list functionality where somebody can see what albums that you wanted uh, or apps or whatever. Um, unfortunately wish list is not that. It's basically your own personal wish list. So you can add something just like that. Go to uh, in iTunes My Wish List and just see the items that you've added. But nobody else can see them. However, you can use functionality like Tell a Friend or Copy Link to basically copy a set of links to items in the store and then send that out in more of an old fashioned kind of wish list for uh, items that people can just click on those links and then jump right to the item and then gift those to you.